We got B. We got B and B on the Yo, mic. Yo, we got bread and butter. B and B. Oh, you're right. It's bread and butter. That's wild. Of course, of course. <laughs> well, you know, I, th I was thinking about bread and butter, so I was like, what, what, what? what? Incineroar? I mean, he has a lot of bread and butter. Got it, got it. Well, you know, I'm, I'm thankful you explained it. Just as thankful as the audience will be as well. But, um, wow. What I will say is, I have not actually seen Onichen pick Incineroar that many times at all. Yes, indeed. Indeed. So again, we have uh, Tall back again um, with the neutral B. Actually, not the worst option to catch that landing. Um, which is surprising because, you know, Onichan, he chose the side B, like, to, uh, not the side B, the up B to get back on stage over everything else. I think he's gonna up throw? Yup. It is. But, you know what I was thinking? I feel like, in a perfect situation, I think that uh, back throw could have killed as well. Probably, but he's. Because, I mean, look at Incineroar, he's got rage. Ooh. Paul's really doing everything he can to keep him out right now, but that's two neutral Bs in a row. And that's actually a lot of damage, too. So oh, but and all it takes is one down smash, the King K rule down smash as well. Except no armor. But also, Tony Khan has a nice revenge there. Oh, that was only the first hit of Nair. That's very true, yeah. Paul kind of just uh, pressing these will be like a lot, but unfortunately that doesn't really pay off in the end because Oni-chan goes ahead and gets him with the up B spike. <laughs> No. No. They're, they're just kind of holding the plushies. That's what you can do at level 1, hold plushies. If that's not a reason to come here, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Wow, so Onichan actually sticking with the Incineroar pick, attempting to prove that he is indeed the best Incineroar I mean, in Tri-State. He doesn't got to prove anything, he just won. That's very true. Yeah. Yeah. He's a few stun as well. It's very, it was very, like, an Because it, it is a very laggy counter for what it's worth. Like, it's fast, but you can only do so much with it. And that was excellent DI by Tall as well. That was, like, probably the perfect way to avoid that situation and prevent him from getting any more damage. He does it again, though. I, yeah, I don't think Onichan gave himself enough aerial drift to, like, go forward with Zelda. That was part of the problem. There we go. Onichan gets him with, actually, the get-up attack. Tony-chan unfortunately misses the timing on that side B. Ooh, but gets him with the neutral B. Surprisingly strong knockback on that as well. Oh yeah, I know, right? Because it's fast, and then it's invincible to start up too, right? I think it has armor. Oh, armor? Okay. Well, there we go. Onichan actually seals out the first stock already. Another Morton. Another neutral B, though. It was, it was, because Tall was, like, doing everything he could to, like, start up a ledge trap. Oh, but again, he misses the neutral B. You can tell he's kind of, like, learning what to do with the move in the set. Yeah, because... Anti-airing Zelda is pretty important, especially with all the mix-ups she has to get back down. So only Chan saw before when he was able to like go ahead and get those up airs and keep him in a little bit of a juggle. It was nothing. It, it, it was pretty great actually. Oh wait, that's a nice back air from Zelda. It seems like he if he out long time, he can get both unless It's just tall reading the mix-up, exactly. That was great on him. And there we go, Dom actually landing the side B. Yeah, whether it be the counter or the down smash, Dom was throwing out a lot of options there. Not sure what aerial he just hit him with there. I think that was Folder. Ooh, but he... Ro oh, wait, he, he's living. Wow, he had a jump. I, okay, so that's interesting. I didn't know that you actually keep your jump after using the Snorer up Yeah, you keep your jump with every character of me except for like... Unless you go into Helpless. Yeah. Well, you would still have your jump because if someone hits you, you just... Oh, that's right. Then you could jump again. Yeah. Game much is one of the few characters that can't keep it jump after 
really. Oh yeah, you're right. Probably because it's like so. Oh, but tall, unfortunately, with the SD. He was charging a Phantom off stage, trying to set up a ledge trap for himself to come back on the stage. And there, oh, that's a forwarder. That's a lot more true. If you ask me. I mean, I think I think no matter what, I think the neutral B is true too. But like, it's easier. Exactly. Yeah. And Dom especially wants to feel out this game, and he'd rather just go for guaranteed things at this point. That's a nice nair as well. That's a quick nair too. Uh, Incineroar. Yes. Yeah, I believe it's Frank. Pony Chan dancing around the stage right now, but he's actually now trapped by Tall. Oh, but Tall with the quick man. He's gonna go for an up throw, but that's not gonna kill, yeah. Oh, I think that would have been it, yeah. What are we gonna see here? Yup, a lot of poking, but that forward air could definitely seal it out. Anime. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> 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 you know, 